do the full process, find things, how I list them, how I post them, and how I multiply my money just by being a little bit savvy with where I'm buying things. This is not an industrial process. I don't have like huge liquidation stock coming in. I go to a thrift store, I find things, I look them up on eBay, I see how much they're gonna sell for, and then if it's worth doing, I will buy them. So if you wanna know how I make money on eBay and how to make an extra bit of dough each month, then keep on watching. So it's easier than you may think, which is why I wanted to make this video, just for anybody that is wanting to do it but is a little bit put off with the process. You don't need any fancy equipment, you can literally just do it from your phone and you can make easy money without actually making too much effort and not taking any time at all. If this video is helpful, please do give it a thumbs up so I can judge if you want more videos like this or if you want come thrift with me videos or thrift flip videos because I'm so into that. You guys know I do loads of DIY videos and upcycling over here already. If you haven't seen them, I will link them down below. But they've always been IKEA uh, hacks and DIY. So what I want to do going forward is more thrift flips that I find that's so hard to say so don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this so that you don't miss out I upload three times a week what I'm going to do first because I have nothing to sell at the moment I'm going to take you along just really quickly to the charity shop to see what I can find today so that I can find something to list so let's go and find something to list and then I'll show you the process of how I do it in the store I just want to check how much they're selling for on eBay so I'm gonna look for that and then I'm gonna know whether it's worth buying that item or not because I don't want to buy things that are not gonna sell or that I'm not gonna make money on so already I know that I'm gonna be considerably up in profit because mine cost 66 pence each so now it's time to have a look at how much they're gonna cost to ship it's really important at this point as well so that you look at what they are shipping for because you don't want to be underselling yourself with how much it's going to cost you to ship them. My tip would be do not go with the eBay uh, like judgment call on how much it's going to ship because it's always wrong. I go to the Royal Mail post office and I get there and they're like, yeah, this is going to be like five times the price that you've been quoted and then I'm out of pocket. So make sure you are looking on eBay at what, other, what they're shipping for, the costs are, so you can do yours at the same price. So I'm really excited about this one, guys, because these plates, six plates, cost me four pounds. And as you can see, they are selling on eBay for 9 99 each, which makes my profit from spending £4 in the charity shop £56, which is amazing for literally like five minutes work. So here's the process of how I am going to list the items, photograph them and work out all the shipping costs. So let's get into that. These are all in such good condition. There's no chips or anything. And on the back, it gives me a little bit of extra information here. So they are from Kenley's Limited, so I will be sure to put that on my description when I list them. So we have got the Pocahontas, this is 95 uh, Cartoon Classics Collectible Plates. And we have got Dumbo, he's so cute. This one is Dumbo 1940. These do say not for food use. I would have loved to have done like a thrift flip where it's like a cake stand or something like that. So you have layers here, but I'm not sure if they're not food suitable. I'm not sure if I should be doing that. So this is where I will be selling them for people that are collectors or that just want to, you know, either sell them on or do a thrift flip. Thrift, thrift flip themselves. Oh my gosh, I can't even say it. Hunchback of Notre Dame, 96 that one. Now I've looked on eBay 
really good idea to do your research here and none of them are really selling as sets they're not selling that much anyway so what I'm going to do is list them individually they are usually listed for 9 99 I'm gonna go in at nine pounds fifty just to undercut anyone else that is selling them but it's now time to take some photographs I would say that if you have a professional looking photo it's usually a lot easier to sell something people just think they're getting a real deal and I'm going to try and make it look a little bit more fancy when I list them so let's get into that. So I have put on my ring light here, I can leave the one I use linked down below for you but it just gives me a little bit of extra light to work with. So what I'm going to do first, I'm just going to clean up this one because it is like really dirty and disgusting and we don't want that looking like that in the picture. Ah, oh, so colourful! So that one is all clean. And what I want to talk to you about now is what I use. So I made this little piece of, it's literally a piece of foam with some marble contact paper. Again, I will list this down below for you. I used it all the time when I was starting out. And also a different colour on the other side. There's so many different styles you can get, but I'll list the ones I use down below. But basically you can just use this as your background and it just looks a little bit more professional when you are taking photos. And this, guys, this is gonna blow your minds, I think, because you don't have to take photos on your phone and keep them there, stored. You don't have to do that. All you need to do is open up the eBay app and take them through there, which just means you don't have to have hundreds of photos on your phone stored never to be looked at ever again. It means that you can just upload directly from the app. I know, my mind is also blown. So what I will do now is have a look to find that exact plate. Oh, there we are. It's actually coming up at more. It's coming up at 12 pounds, which is kind of cool. So it means I've got a little bit more profit to play with, or I can maybe take some out of the postage. Uh, and basically I'm just gonna scroll through like this, and then scroll down here right the way until you see sell one like this and this is going to take all the hard work out for you it's going to mean that everything is done for you so I'm going to provide photos for my item I'm going to do that and then take new photo if they were in my gallery I can upload already but I'm not going to do that I'm going to do the easy way take new photo and I'm just going to go in and take a photo of this make sure there's no shadows on the plate, which is easier said than done. So I am now done and they are just uploading now and there are my photos. So Disney cartoon plates, let's just take that gap out, I don't know why there's that. Disney Cartoon Classics Pocahontas Collectible Plate by Kenley's Limited. So that is what I want mine to say as well. Uh, category is going to be the same, 1995. Yep, so that was, that was fine. And then I'm going to change my condition because mine is not new. I need to change that to used. Limited edition, Mark's Plate with Crockery. Any unique features see they had condition used whereas the other one said new so this is not right here one of them is not right condition is used two days that gives me a little play time to play with it in case I need to get to the post office and I haven't got time for some reason. Item used but in perfect condition. Okay, okay, so come out of that. And I am not gonna be putting on an auction because I know that these plates are selling for a certain price. So I know roughly how much it's gonna sell for. It's probably not gonna go for any more than that. Typically on an auction, things go less than buy it now. So as I know exactly what it's going to be, I'm going to do it just on buy it now and the price will be, let's say, £10.50 because the other one was £12.99, was it? Um, and I'm going to turn off auction. So I've just got buy it now, £10.50, 
and that is me done with the price. So I want to change this to, so they're saying to 99. So I want to say eBay delivery pack link, two to three working days and buyer pays 2.99 delivery. So that's the delivery done. So list with displayed fees and we are done and done. When it comes to packaging things like this, you need it to be pretty, you know, unbreakable. So what I often do when I get deliveries through from say Amazon, or if, you know, if I get anything delivered to myself, I will keep all the packaging. So it does end up having just like loads of boxes around, but it saves me money in the delivery costs. So I don't have to actually pay for anything and to get them shipped so it saves those of money so basically it's all profit so i'm going to show you just how i box up something like this so i'm going to take some bubble wrap that i have had in fact i bought these in bubble wrap from the charity shop um let's take um, let's take mickey and wrap him up nicely so i'm going to put him in bubble wrap like that and then just seal it with some tape and uh, with this, I know that it's being done before it's sold, but I just know that then it's done. It just saves me time when it does come to sell and I can make sure I get it out the door the next morning as soon as it sells or that day. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, my phone buzzing. So just package it up like this. Obviously, if it's not breakable, you don't need to use something like this. But then I'm gonna take this box, which was an Amazon delivery, and it just so happens to literally be perfect. So I'm gonna pop here like this, and then fold it over, and fold it over again. And that, I would say, is really well supported. It's not going to break. Ooh, I'm just going to do it up like this. And then what I'm going to do, because I obviously I haven't sold it, I don't know what the address is going to be that it's going to send to, I'm just going to write on the back what it is, so I know when it comes to it exactly what it's, what's inside, and then I'm going to stick a label over there, or just maybe even write it on a Sharpie pen with, with a piece of paper. And that is basically it done, all packaged up and safely to go to its owner. I want to give you one more really good tip that I have found helps sales and get the best price, but I'm going to just... Uh, do the photos for all the rest of the items first. show you is the save for later because I would recommend my top tip would be going for a Sunday evening around seven o'clock because that is the time that most people are on eBay and they are available the one that I just did it's like midday on a Friday people may be able to do it on the lunch break or you know when the baby's sleeping or something but often I choose to do it in the evening so you can actually save for later and then you've got that there for when you want to publish it later say tomorrow afternoon or sunday evening so that is a really top tip that i would definitely recommend doing make sure you're selling things at peak time for when they end so that people are around to be able to bid on them at the last minute this does not make it such a difference if you're doing buy it now because it's not an auction but if you are doing an auction i would de definitely recommend doing it so it's like a key time where lots of people are available to be in that frenzied uh, bidding position so there we go that is how i make a little bit of extra income every month uh if you wanted to thrift with me let me know because I really want to do a few thrift flips following on from my DIY series um, but yeah I hope this was helpful if anyone was interested in selling on eBay or just wanting to know how I do it or yeah just let me know in the comments if you want any other videos like this don't forget to subscribe guys three videos <laughs> Three a week and I would love to have you here on this community and I've also got a Facebook group which is uh, budget best life I will leave the link for it down in the description bar if you want to join lots of ideas and tips and encouragement and support anyone else doing low buy sustainable shopping and you know just living their best life on a budget anyway I'm gonna go I'll see you all very soon thank you for watching bye